Right, hi there. Um, this is going to be a Saturday short as I'm not feeling very well and uh, I just want to post something up that might be of interest to somebody. Um, what I've been finding with my plasma cutter is that um, we were getting some wobbles in the cut, so the change of direction. Um, I tried everything trying to figure out what exactly was going wrong. Um, we tried slowing up on corners, we tried doing all kinds of stuff, but we're still getting this strange wobble. Um, I checked the bearings, um, they are nice and tight, running smooth, no play at all. I checked the, checked the pinions, um, checked the motor um, mounts, uh, I checked all the stiffness of all of this, still couldn't figure out what was going on. Um, and it only seemed to be in the y-axis running that way. Um, just seemed to have that really bizarre wobble. It's difficult to explain without showing you. Um, I don't think I've got a piece here that shows the wobble, but uh, it was really, really infuriating to the point where I was going to get hold of the MyPlasm guys um, and say, uh, it must be your software, because we tried everything. We spent the better part of probably a day trying to figure out swinging on the damn thing trying to figure out where the wobble was coming from now here's the thing um that mounting plate is made out of six mil and it is at a right angle um there's a double plate here to space it off for these bolts down here here we go um and obviously there's no play in this we check those bearings, they're all tight, so everything is fine there. There's obviously no play in the torch holder um, uh, because that's rubber clamped. Uh, I thought it might have been the rubber's too loose, so we've done those up, look. Uh, nice and tight, squeeze tight. So there's nothing there. So we're trying to figure it out. What we come up with as a partial solution, oop, fingers, um, as, a partial, as a solution uh, was this. So we got that bracket there it's a bit rough at the moment we use existing mounting holes and blah blah um, to make it work and it fixed it um, as strange as it may seem that bit of aluminium there um, what's that uh, 12 15 mil aluminium um, is was flexing was springing like crazy there we go what is it uh, 15 16 mil um, there we go. So that that was causing the wobble. Couldn't believe it. We spent so long checking everything, checking all the bearing mounts, checking everything, and it was that Z axis was wobbling. Um, I suppose when you look at it, you've only got one bolt there and one bolt there. What are they about? Fifty-five, sixty mil apart. So. It's hardly surprising when it's chucking around a little lumpy motor like that on the top. Got the cable as well, which at some times at full stretch is a bit, uh, a bit, you know, well stretched. So um, yeah, that was the that was the problem, and the result of that cut once we finished it was this no wobble. Um, these little marks here are lead in, lead out marks, but nothing. All the cuts are perfect. Um, so there we go. There was nothing really to say about it other than uh, shit. Um, it was just that aluminium was flexing. And I, I had a bet with one of the guys here that, uh, that it wasn't that. Kind of lost soy and beer, but there we go. Um, the other thing I must show at some point, um, if we can get down into the bowels of here. Yeah, pull it one of these. Um, something I was asked about a while back, not from anybody on uh, YouTube to be fair, was how do you get all the holes, you know, drilled accurately? And I said, well, we pierce them with the, with the plasma. And if you look at that, smaller plane, we just pierce them. We put in a three, four mil hole and that's enough to guide the drill in. And he said to me, well, doesn't that harden the steel? And I said, well, it is mild steel and it does harden a bit. So this is my tip for um, 
drilling pierced holes. What you need to do is always make the hole piercing, let me just grab a drill bit, make the hole piercing as small as you can get away with within reason so that it acts as your pilot hole. So if you take this hole and this drill, that pierce hole is a little bit on the um, small side for that drill bit. Yeah, I think we'd all agree. Um, but what you're aiming to do, I'll do my best to show you this, is you can see there, this drill bit I've intentionally not sharpened because I drilled those out with this drill bit. Um, what you don't want is to have your pierced hole nearly the same size as what you want to drill it out to. That's a pointless exercise, and I'll let me tell you why. Because these holes do harden a bit, you are loading that edge dramatically. And what you'll do is you'll chip out that corner and you won't be able to drill through it. So what you're aiming to do is to come in further, if we'll focus, um, is to come in further on your drill bit. So closer, so you've got a lot of meat between your edge and the center of your flute of your drill. So although that pierce is a bit small, um, it's still going to hit that point. Oh, let's get down here, maybe I can get a... There we go. So it's going to hit, the, you know, the meatier part of the cutting edge. That way, all that happens is that the hard part of the hole, and believe you me, it is quite hard, um, won't chip out the outside edge of your drill bit because at that point you're into the softer real mild steel so the unhardened stuff so if you see what i mean the the, the meat of the cutting edge can take more of a bashing with hardened harder material than the very very edge so i hope that makes sense um it seemed as about as much sense as uh, as russian to me but uh, that's what we do uh we cut out lots of plates all the time, wheel plates. Uh, we do um, little dollies like this, um, and you can see it all, it's all got to look quite nice and tidy. So that's how we get our holes accurate. Um, it's accurate within ooh, easily half a mil uh, when you do the piercings like that. Um, it's accurate enough for me to. Um, Drill these holes accurately, even though those holes are slotted. Um, just slow the plasma down, slow your feed speeds down a little bit, and, and you'll get it. So I hope somebody finds this uh, useful <laughs> or helpful, uh, because we actually do all of these holes as well. So they're all plasma pierced, uh, almost like a plasma drilling operation, and we just run the drill down through it. But we make sure that the holes are as small or are small enough for the suitable drill that we're going to go through with. So there we go. Uh, if you like the videos as always, um, please uh, like and subscribe. It does help me crack on and make, make more of them. And uh, uh, hopefully I'll be able to do something a little more interesting as soon as I can get off my ass and get myself a, a tripod so I can actually show you doing stuff rather than talking about stuff. Because I'm fairly sure that uh, some people must get bored of my dulcet tones and would rather see action. Anyway, there we go. Um, all the best. Stay safe. And I'll catch you again sometime. Cheers.